Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, that means it's market outlook time. We're going to take a look at everything related to foot this week, supposedly the last full week of the Summer Heat promo. Talk about market movements, when you can buy some cards, uh, and of course the content that is going to be coming out this week in terms of packs, in terms of possible new SBCs, objectives, and maybe even like what could be coming after this. Uh, I guess some people, and myself included, have some maybe initial guesses or uh, ideas at possibly what could come after the summer heat promo is over because it seems like this is ending a bit early and it seems like there's still a gap in a window in here that we possibly could have some more content coming after this promo is ending so again this is the last week of summer heat this is the full send time right you're going to see me streaming a lot this week opening a lot of packs as i already have been doing hitting a lot of team of the seasons out of the 81 double plus uh, honestly, it's been working pretty well for me uh, because uh, I guess I have pretty good pack luck regardless. But um, this is what I've, you know, I've spent my coins or I've grinded to get coins this year. Spent a lot of coins on upgrade packs. And this is like the last shot, at least for the foreseeable future, it looks like to me, that I will be able to pack Team of the Season cards to try to get some of the TOTS cards that I haven't packed yet. And also it allows me to craft some of these SBCs and Prime Icon packs or Fun. So you will see me doing a lot of upgrade packs this week. I will be on streaming a lot of those packs because packs are fun. We love packs, right? Yes, we do. But uh, I do want to cover the rest of the content that we could see this week because today is a big one, right? Today is a big one. And a lot of this content I'm going to talk about kind of sets up the tone for what I'm really unsure is going to be coming on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week. I know a lot of you guys really, 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 really want to buy some cards for your team, some Tots and Bopes, Tots Neymars. So I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about those cards as well. But I want to start off by taking this week one day at a time. Today, Monday, what should we expect? The last summer showdown SBC of FIFA 20, I think, of FIFA 20 summer heat. I really hope that they continue up with these summer showdowns, even during like UCL, right? When UCL reopens, it'd be sick if we had a summer showdown SBC with uh, a, two, a game revolving around a UCL game later on in August when those games actually do begin to start back up. So hopefully we do see that. But today we should see the last one that is inside of the Summer Heat promo. I have a feeling uh, since the last one that we had was Syria, and this Jordan Lukaku when I'm recording this expires in seven hours. So that means by the time you're watching this video, it's probably going to be <laughs> expiring in like one or two hours. So if you have not done Danilo or if you want to do Lukaku, last chance to do uh, that card, those SBCs. The last summer showdown I think we'll see today, it's got to be Premier League. It honestly has to be. And with this being the last week of the Premier League season, I really have a feeling that it might come down to this game right here. This is my fearless forecast for what could be the summer showdown coming out today. Manchester United and Leicester City. I know we've had so many United cards and you're like, yo, Nate, we're not going to get another Manchester United card. But they've been putting some pretty hype matches as these summer showdowns. I think this one here, this is a massive, massive uh, matchup for next week. Leicester versus Man U. This would be my top vote for what I think could be the summer showdown. Possibly Wolves and Chelsea because that's a pretty big match as well. Uh, and there are some other matches earlier on in the week, uh, I believe, that could be in summer showdown. But like Liverpool, Chelsea, yes, that could technically get in. But that's on Wednesday. If the SBC comes out on Monday... A lot of these have not been quick turnarounds. I think there was the Phil Foden and Fabinho. That game might have been on a Thursday or Friday. Actually, I think it was on Thursday. Um, so I guess we could see a game as early as Thursday. But I feel like it's going to be one of these Sunday games from next week on the final weekend of the Premier League that we're going to see for the Summer Showdown. I honestly think they're going to full send it. And I honestly think they're going to go Man U versus Leicester because that could be a pretty, pretty pumped up and pretty hyped SBC that we could see. Uh, in foot. I did Danilo again. Danilo, sorry. Um, for my team, if he does get upgraded, that would be dope. If uh, Juventus can win, I think they play today or tomorrow. I guess I can check it. It's right here in front of me. I think they play on the 20th. They do. Juventus and Lazio play on today. They play today. So this game is today. We'll be watching that hopefully for an updated Juventus card of Danilo. Uh, the other thing that I need to talk about is the TOTS SF Guaranteed Pack that came out today. We finally got the SBC for an Any TOTS Guaranteed Pack. That code that they put in finally came out and they released it today. 
non-repeatable. What an L, dude. I don't know why EA released this non-repeatable. It really does not make sense to me. I'm very bummed that they did that. And they made it available for four days as well. So when I first saw this, I thought, yo, EA, you definitely messed up, right? You made this for four days, which would take us to the end of the promo. You made it non-repeatable. I think you actually meant to make it repeatable. Unfortunately, it is not seen that way. So we just got to, to do that SBC once as a non-repeatable, which sucks in my opinion. It's a big, big L that they put that SBC out and did not make it repeatable um, today. That was an L. And then of course we had the Pulisic, Rabio, and Cramrich vote. I think Rabio is probably going to win. I voted for Pulisic because I'm an American. I would love to see Captain America get his SBC. That is going to be our content on Tuesday. That'll be our SBC that we see on Tuesday. It will be a voting day SBC. So just like Paul Pugba came out yesterday, it'll either be in my in my eyes, it'll be Christian Pulisic or it will be Rabio as an SBC on Tuesday. Uh, that could be interesting as well for content wise. And then, you know, Wednesday, Thursday for the rest of the week this week, what else could we see? Do we really get another objective card? A lot of people have been asking, are we really going to get another objective? And in all honesty, I say, we are not. I think this is the last Summer Heat objective card that we're going to get um, just because there's such a short time frame before this promo is over, right? It's over in four days. And EA, it, from what I'm really seeing with objectives this year is they like to give people ample time to complete them. And another tiered objective really just does not make sense to me because this promo is coming to an end. So since Daniel James was only in squad battles, which a lot of people are completing this card, I really feel like uh, you're not going to see any more objectives this week for summer heat players maybe another like these the heating up and the hot streak objectives like this is cool like i rate that uh but if you're doing these you probably want to do them this week with all the team of season cards in the packs right one other thing that i guess we could see this week is just another random summer heat sbc um like we had the vidal just the fan favorite uh we could see another fan favorite sbc or we could see another uh dynamic duo between like we had Verdi and Bellotti, we could see another dynamic duo come out at some point this week too. Um, and then the slightest possibility for the return of the 84 double plus and the 85 to 92. I don't really think that's going to come, but I guess it's possible. And if EA were to make some sort of repeatable team of the season pack, that is the thing that I guess I'm kind of holding off and why I'm not saying uh, that I'm unsure on the market, I guess, right? Because of course we always go into every week and we're unsure about the content that EA is going to drop. And it's just kind of some of that kind of situation, right? But this Mbappe card was 2.2 million coins. A lot of people have just started buying these cards because they're not getting packed that much. And a lot of people want to buy cards for their teams. So you're seeing a lot of these TOTS cards haven't actually dropped off like we thought they were going to. And that, I guess, kind of makes sense because, um, just the lack of like super duper hyped content. Now, Neymar is actually looking kind of low. 383. This guy at his absolute lowest was like uh, in the 3375 range, I think. He was 376 last night, even. Uh, if you see this guy like 37, 36, I would probably pull the trigger. For a lot of these top tier car to uh, TOS cards, what's going to happen is people want to buy these for their teams if they have not bought them already. And if we don't get any insane content this week, that is a repeatable SBC or another big time SBC. I don't think you're going to see a lot of panic selling on these uh, because there'll be no people that are going to sell these, right? Like why would you sell them? And a lot of people need to buy their end game team. So I think rewards Thursday this week, after the first couple of hours, these guys are going to get supplied a lot during rewards because of all the tradable packs that are going to be out there. And of course the elite rewards and up with these cards being in those packs as they have been the past few weeks there's going to be a decent amount of supply on tots cards in general at rewards this week on thursday that might be the best time to buy some of these team of the season cards unless we get some sort of big panic selling at some point this week for whatever reason i feel like that's just going to be our time because i was expecting the pogba sbc to really take more coins off of the market but instead they only made it three hundred thousand coins and now you're sitting with all these people that still have coins in their club that were originally ready to dispense them on a Pogba SBC that was probably going to be 700k to a mil um, compared to how the other SBCs have been priced. And you're going to see those coins just available for people to buy up cards and buy players with those. So I do think on meta icons, uh, moments icons, even some primes, T 
team of the season cards and just your very, very meta cards, like maybe your headliner Neymar, maybe your foot birthday uh, Saint Maximin. Like some of these foot birthday Mbappe is not in packs, right? And he's actually risen back up. I would watch for rewards day for a lot of these cards. Saint Maximin's 472 and he's down, yes, because of Daniel James. Does he rebound? I think he does. But the reason why I think Thursday is going to be a big update on some of these really meta cards, or it could be if we don't get a lot of big content on Thursday as well, is just because so many people uh, are seeing that this promo ends this week and then it's done, right? And then they're like, okay, well then FIFA's done, right? That's kind of what we thought after team of the season as well, but it actually wasn't. Is it going to be that way this week? I don't know. It's really, it's really just a toss up. Is this the end? Are we going to have a promo after this? Whatever promo they come out with after this, it's going to be like incredibly hard and almost impossible to top this summer heat promo just because of how good it was. Like seriously, this promo was literally the best promo on FIFA Ultimate Team, and this is the last week of it. So I hope they end it with a bang. That would be incredible if they did end it with a bang with more SBCs and more upgrade packs guaranteed, like the Taz repeatable. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking with like the market and stuff and, and why you didn't really see it drop that much this week. If you're still wanting to buy cards for your team, uh, I would think if it's in packs that you would probably want to look at that on Thursday at rewards. And over the next couple weeks, if there is no content, you will see meta cards start to rise and get rare on the market because if there's no content in the next few weeks, this game is going to start doing this because people are going to be getting off the game. Cards are going to get rare and they're going to start rising. Even though they were in packs for a second time, there's still going to be some people on the game uh, because there is going to be football in August. So that's kind of interesting. So hopefully we get some Champions League related content, but I just don't know how good it can really be since they're already releasing these 93 94 95 rated cards how much can road to the final upgrades really pump up the market i don't really think it can do that much so that's one thing that i would i just kind of you know put in your mind this week that i know a lot of you guys want to buy cards so what i what i would do is if you got a card that you want to buy of course we talk about this all the time add it to your transfer list and watch it right some of these cards might actually hit their lowest tonight it might be Sunday night for these lowest. Like for Neymar, it was just 383. This guy is so rare that you might actually just have to... Oh, this one got bought, yeah? It was a fresh one. You might just actually have to like look for this one on bid uh, at a late night time frame because these cards are just so, so rare and a decent amount of people are still going to want to buy them. You know, even some of your moments cards, like moments... I meant to click on a Cruyff right there, but moments icons that are very, very popular... Uh, people still have coins to buy those in this game and they're probably going to go up in price a little bit um, because they're just flat going to get rare, right? Even a guy like Rio, like Rio Ferdinand, um, his moments card. This is a very, very hyped up center back right now. 900K for this guy. This guy could rise up over a million coins easily, uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, depending on what type of other content comes out or what lack of content comes out as well so i'm really hoping that we get some big time sbcs later on this week because i'm just unsure of what else is going to happen in foot because if there's nothing else that's like repeatable that's big that comes out then you're going to see cards start to rebound people are going to buy teams and summer heat is going to kind of end with like a sour taste honestly it's going to end kind of with a sour taste um for what it's been if we don't get any other big type of content this week one thing i forgot to share this is going to come today on monday Twitch Prime Packs. Oh, we're excited, right? Twitch Prime Packs are probably actually, probably actually great English. Uh, they're going to be good because they're going to contain a player pick of four 83 plus overall players or better and five times rare goal players. So I think it's actually the exact same pack as before, but with all these team of the seasons in packs, that uh, player picks probably going to be pretty juiced and the five rare goal players is going to give you an opportunity to uh, possibly pack some team of the seasons from those packs. So that's going to be very interesting to see what happens with this today. Uh, we're going to get a Twitch Prime pack. This is our last one, right? So this is not the last Twitch Prime pack. We're going to get one in August as well. Summer 2020, this says. So um, I guess keep watch on this page if you, you really want to. But get your Twitch Primes linked up. If you do have a Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, uh, you can get those linked up and get a free pack. Um, and you also get a free sub to a Twitch streamer, which you should use on your boy link down below in the description. Check that out. Um, so yeah, definitely look at that, but 
again, what I'm going to be doing this week is just the upgrade packs. And honestly, right now, yes, there's cool cards that are out to craft. But other than that, like, what else is there really to do? There's really nothing super grindable right now in this game. It's just all about getting packs and trying to pack TOTS cards. So I hope that they put out some really good SBCs this week. And I hope that you also voted for Christian Pulisic again. I want to mention that. If you haven't voted yet, vote Pulisic, right? Because who needs another French card in this game? We want an American, right? Chelsea, I know it's another left wing. I know it's another Prem left wing. But I think it'd be a pretty sweet card. Nice green link to my untradeable pack pulled first owner flex team of the year Conte. sorry for that one but seriously boys i'm really kind of curious about this week on foot because i feel like a lot of the meta stuff is going to maybe start to rise until thursday with rewards if we don't get big content and i just don't want this promo to end sour like i'm kind of rooting for ea here like come on boys like don't we don't i don't want the community to bash you for like another three or four weeks on end leave us with a good taste in our mouth heading into FIFA 21, don't end this promo abruptly, please, all right? Hopefully, they don't. But uh, I guess the one thing that could come on Friday, if they're wanting to end all this stuff for Summer Heat on Friday, what we could see on Friday is maybe a Icon Moments repeatable upgrade. That would be insane. That would be dope. And that would crash the market after we thought everything was at its lowest, right? So is that a realistic thing to be thinking about and be expecting i don't think so i really don't think that's a realistic pack and if it is going to come out we would see it in the code so if it is in the code i would definitely tweet it out and tell you guys about that and if that does come out then you would probably want to sell your players because there would be some panic selling before that sbc comes out and when it comes out then there would be a rebound after that as well it always happens with those icon sbcs there's panic there's more panic when it comes out and then stuff bounces back because people do the sbc they don't pack moments R9, and they're like, screw it, I'm done, right? So there would be a little bit of that at least um, at the end of the game if that does come out in the next week or so. And of course, uh, yeah, follow the Twitter that links down below to uh, get updated when things like that come out because I always retweet that stuff. And if there's going to be big time market movements, even at this time of the year in July, I'll definitely tweet it out because I know a lot of you guys are still trying to make coins, trying to get good uh, with the market and uh, just be fiscally responsible inside of FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, the Monday Market Outlook, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.